None of you can deny that what I'm saying is the truth. You know it's the truth. But either you won't write it, or you're too cowardly to speak it, because you want some favor here or favor there. So because you can't talk, you are muzzled. I'm not. I'm a free black man. And I didn't come here looking for a handout. And I really don't think you need one. Your problem is that you think you need a handout. Everything you need is right under your foot, but you looking everywhere else for help instead of to yourself and what you can produce for yourself. This is Africa's dilemma. You are parading yourself before the world as international beggars when you gave civilization to the world. Your problem is not America. Your problem is not Israel. Your problem is not Britain. Your problem is your disunity and your dependence on others to do for you what you could do for yourself. So I don't have to come back here anymore to help you. The help is already here. The knowledge is already here. The land is here. The sun is here. The water is here. The minerals is here. Are here. You have some of the finest mines in the world, but they're in Europe and they're in America making money while Africa suffers. Why don't we create politically stable environment and call the children of Africa back home to help build Africa? We are your children and we will come and help. But don't expect us to come with billions of dollars when we don't have it. We're struggling in America. But you got it all right here under your foot. And you should be ashamed not to look to yourself begging white folk to give you what you could give yourself. What I said today, which, which one of these countries is going to give you $20 million? America is not going to give you $20 million. You got it right here, but your disunity won't allow you to pool it. It's your fault, and you got to accept that responsibility. That is why my message is atonement, reconciliation, and responsibility. We got to stop blaming everything on somebody else and see what is our responsibility.